Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Right, it's been, it's been, it's been a week. I've been on holiday for a week. I went abroad for an operation and I had my ears lowered. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, we actually went on holiday. Uh, we went to Bordeaux for a couple of nights and uh, did the old tourist thing there. Uh, Bordeaux in France. Uh, we, we've, for many, many years, we... We've always gone to Paris. Uh, that's where we we love Paris, and we've always gone there. Uh, but fancy trying somewhere else? If you get the chance, go to Bordeaux. It's a beautiful city. It's like um, if you can't be arsed walking about Paris for hours and ends to see all the sights, go to Bordeaux because there it's a lot more condensed and it's just as beautiful. Lovely place. And then we got a train. We went down to Arkansas. Arkansas, 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 and uh, we spent five nights down there and just uh, be a biscuit is just it's round about there and it was stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, so fully refreshed and uh, and rearing to go once again. <sighs> Actually, that's a lie. I'm still still knackered but uh, we'll, we'll get back into it and knackered if, if you're not from the UK or if you're not from Scotland knackered is tired buggered done in exhausted and all these other wonderful words anyway moving on vape gear now when I went on holiday all I took with me well what I recorded I did a quick video before I left, on the day before I left, uh, these arrived, well this arrived, uh, this little guy here, and um, now I've had this the, for the oh, best part of two months, and of course it's the, the Orion uh, by Lost Vape pod system, and so I made the decision to take the two of them uh, away on holiday, so all I had for the entire week was this, which is strange. Um, now, when you do reviews, uh, don't ever be under the impression that a reviewer, you know, if they say, I've had this for two weeks, I've been using this for two weeks, that does not mean they have been using that and nothing else for two weeks. It just doesn't work like that. Um, I don't know if, I could be wrong, don't get me, I mean, don't take everything I say as gospel please don't. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know of any reviewer out there that will only vape that thing they are testing and nothing else. But um, once again, I could be wrong. So, for me to just use the one product the whole time for that one week was different. Very different. And even although I've had one of these for two months, um, everything I said in my quick look video before I went on holiday, I still agree with, I still agree with, it's, um, now, <laughs> I made a mistake, the e-liquid I took on holiday with me, I only took 3 milligram and I should have taken 6 milligram because, you know, yeah, just because for a pod system, I usually up my nick a bit, but, uh, you know, vaping this at its maximum setting um, and having the airflow wide open, you know, I can, what am I just now? Let's just have a blast. That's how I normally vape anyway, so it wasn't a big deal breaker for me. In the space of that week, I vaped about 10 mil of juice. That's all I vaped. Uh, the weather was really, really hot. And, um, you know, it, it's a completely different environment. You know, normally when I vape, I'm sitting in here all day. So I'm puffing away non-stop. On holiday, 10 mil of juice did me the week. It was great. These devices never let me down once. Uh, the juice, the, the, the cotton, the, it's everything I said in the first look video. Um, I'm kind of impressed. I, I am, I, and I'm sorry. I mean, normally I would give away one of these or both of these, but uh, I'm actually going to keep both of them and, and keep them as my, yeah, for holidays and things like that, or traveling, because they, they work really well. Um, now, I do, the, the only things I found, what did I find that I didn't like when I was away? Nothing. Nothing outside what I already said. I, I still do wish that it was, there was more of a mouth to lung option. Um, turned right down, it's still 
a ve it's a very very loose mouth to lung at its tightest in my that's my take on it anyway uh, so it does suit me but for a pod system I do wish that it was there was a tighter option available that would be my only real negative that I have with it um, I mean, I even stuck this in a sand dune. I was on top, uh, the, the highest sand dune in June, dune in um, Europe, and uh, got to the top, collapsed, flat in my back, and uh, I thought, oh, that's a nice photo. So I took a photo. And unfortunately, this has still got sand in it. So, uh, but still works. But anyway, so they are coming very, very soon. I would buy one. I would buy one for travelling with, uh, I, I really would, but my humble take is not tight, tight mouth to lung, that's it, everything else about it I like, and um, yeah, that's it, go watch the video, um, and there are other videos out there, I think Mike Vapes put up one as well, uh, not, I've not watched it yet, I've not seen it yet, so, um, what else can I tell you, so we got back, um, what has arrived, what's been going on, um, Juice, juice whilst I was away, all I took with me uh, was a lemon crack, a lemon crack by Mr. Mark White, um, and, and and I actually got some more of that from today. Uh, this isn't a plug, uh, this is juice I vape. I only vape a handful of juices, I don't do juice reviews, uh, I'm not, I'm mates with most of these people, I will be honest, I'm mates with them, and um, but this is a juice that I really like, lemon crack, and I've talked about it a lot. Uh, I will also mention another juice that arrived today. Uh, where's my big bottle? Uh, no, that's not my big bottle. It's gone. I'm already. I got another bottle, so it's it's not. I don't think this is steeped yet, but I've talked about this before. Um, this is from Simon Sawyer's Strawberry Fields Eclipse. Um, he's been selling it himself uh, for the past week. I've had this since, when did I have this? I've had this for a few weeks now. I've already tanned or consumed, ta see there's another word, uh, tanned, uh, drink, anyway. Um, so I've already tanned a bottle like this and this is my second bottle. It's very good. It's very, it's, it's custardy, but it's it's not. Nah, you've got vanilla custard. It's not really a vanilla custard. It's more cakey, but it does have hints of a vanilla custard going through it, and and I I really do quite like it. I know that uh, Just Add Nick in the UK are getting this in this week. Um, so if you don't buy it direct from Simon, uh, you can go along to Just Add Nick and buy it from there. Uh, so there's. To, to liquids. I will also say, my humble apologies, I will also, also say, I think it's already up. They're already up. Uh, the other two, uh, there's two other juices from Mark White as well. There's uh, Crack Current, which is, is, and I've said this again, I've said I'm repeating myself. I know I am. Um, oh my God. It's like um, Black Current tunes. That's what it smells like. If you like fruity menthol-y type stuff, awesome. And he does a gin one, um, gin and tonic one, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I'm not a huge gin drinker anyway. Uh, so that be that. Um, what else can I show you? I will mention, because plug, because I have to do plugs uh, for myself, uh, this setup here, boink, Hellfire Cobra, and the Armour V2 RDA. Uh, there's now a charity auction, raffle, charity raffle going on just now on my YouTube channel. A pound could win you this setup. Um, I think this is bit, this is over 400 quid, this. This is my own, this is my own Hellfire Cobra. Um, and this was given to me, the, the Armour RDA was given to me by Pima. Uh, very nice man. Uh, as, as a gift uh, and so I'm going to pass that on and just make it a bundle. Uh, after 24 hours of this running, raffle running, 
uh, were already at uh, £1,100 for the Scottish Association for Mental Health, which is tremendous. I've said this already and I'm going to say it again, but uh, I'm really hoping to... That's all, it's coming up, I think I've got another couple of months left, uh, but that's coming up for a year of doing the charity raffles the way I... I changed it so it's all online in the open where everybody can see it um, and that's it we're, we're just about at £20,000 for the year for, for various charities uh, and, and thank you to you uh, for donating what you donate, thank you to the people that sent on gear uh, to let me raffle it off and, and just thank you to you, It's uh, I am just the, the conduit. Um, I. I'm here in camera, I hold stuff up and say you can get this for a pound, that's really all I have to do with it, it's all down to you. Uh, but the, the charities that you are donating to are thanks, just thanks. Anyway, gosh, uh, move on. Um, right, so we'll get that out of the way. I, here's a strange one. This is Brian. Fui Brian. No, it's not. It's it's Brian. Uh, I don't know if you remember, there was an, an advertising campaign in the UK from Confused.com uh, and, and this arrived for some reason in, in the mail yesterday and I was like, what the hell is this all about? And... <laughs> I'm abs... I got a letter with it. Um, it's, I don't, it's not actually a... Stay. It's not actually, I don't think it's a functioning electronic cigarette. I think this is more a, a, a joke uh, than anything else. And where, where's, where's it going? There we go. Uh, there was a long letter with it um, from Brian's keeper um, who uh, who works in a warehouse where there are 50,000 of 50,000 Brian's that uh, they can't shift. Okay, here's the thing. This, the, if anybody knows, they can say it. So, PS at the bottom. Obviously this is from the same person that gave you many things from caps to glasses, cars, etc. Who could it be? Well, it's not anyone you know as those so-called claimers are so thick. Anyway, you will never guess, but here are some clues. We would have gone to the same school, same age as me. My name is French, but could be Scottish. I have met Dean face to face, but he knows me as much as you. Have fun. There's a guy called Craig Nichols. Um, there's something that's just, I keep thinking it's him, but I, I could be wrong. It's bugging me. Craig, if it's you, let me know. Actually, I'll contact you after this and find out for sure. But uh, it did make me laugh and it was a giggle. Thank you very, very much. Uh, right, um, what am I vaping on? Well, vaping on, uh, Today, I'm not long up, uh, I, I'm actually, I'm still vaping on this. So I'm using the, the, the Lost Vape uh, Big Bad Boy, the, the Triad, the DNA 250C, and I'm still using, <laughs> where's the box for it? Things that I said I would never review, but, um, but this is as close to a review as it will ever get. It's the Og Vape Skynet sub -ohm tank. Right, what can I tell you about it? 24 millimeters in diameter, blah, 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 blah. Holds 5.1 mil of juice with the bubble glass. I think about 3.6 mil with the standard glass. And it comes with uh, mesh coils, 0.15 ohm coils, 60 to 80 watt range. Uh, right, that, that, that from Og Vape Skynet. And that's what it looks like with the bubble glass. Not my kind of thing. Absolutely love the vape from it. Uh, these mesh coils uh, that, that all these companies are coming out with, they're, there's, they tend to be very, very good. Uh, they really do. But the the ones in the, the Skynet are part. Normally these sub tanks don't work well with my kind of custards and juices and things like that, but I'm vaping. Um, I'm vaping this uh, from the Mr. McDermott, Jedi's Punk, uh, the RM's VC vanilla custard. Uh, I'm vaping that in this, and it's, it's gorgeous, really nice. 
one last blast. Uh, you may have noticed it's kind of noisy and the amount of air. It's a yazoo. Remember yazoos? It's... Oh, I'm blowing juice out of the coffee. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my my carer isn't here today, and uh, uh, yeah, well, anyway, we'll we'll move. This is it fully open. Damn, it's tasty. Can't take away from the fact that it's really really tasty. There's a song about that. Was there an advert about that? It's tasty, tasty, really really tasty. I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, uh, somebody as old as me will know what I'm talking about. Right, more interesting vape stuff. Uh, what can I show you? These arrived and <laughs> um, the Watofo profile. Uh, this is primarily for mesh. And uh, no, um, I'm sure there'll be lots of reviews out for it from other people and whatnot, but I doubt very much. I'll put. I'll stick some mesh in it and use it um, and give you some feedback during a vlog but it's not something I'm going to review because uh, unless I put a build in it and I go oh my god this is amazing um, if it doesn't do that then no because I just find that you have to put maximum wattage into this kind of stuff and get very little off the back of it uh, and, uh, don't get the mesh front uh, mesh as a coil. I don't get that. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on from that, what else can I show you? Uh, oh, um, Gizzard. There's a lovely man. There's um, called Gizzard or Giz. Uh, he's on the Fresh O3 show, uh, which is on every Saturday, I do believe, on uh, the YouTube's. And uh, he dropped me a message. Where now? Where's that gone? Where's that gone? Um, here we go. I always say, unless I know somebody really well, or I've dealt with them for a very long time, I always say no uh, to if they want to send juice on, uh, because one, I don't review it, so it's not fair that they're sending me something and I can't... I'm taking something for free without giving them something back. So that's why I don't normally take juice from anybody. Um, so, uh, but anyway... Um, Dear Mr. Todd, I have sent you a sample of my custard. I hope you enjoy it. Also, a spork, a spork for your shed wall. Cheers, Giz. One spork, a spoon and a fork, uh, a fork and spoon. Uh, no, so that, that I didn't have a clue what this is about. Um, the, the inside there, there's a little card. That's in the back. Um, what's that? So you, there's a there's a, an Instagram tag. If you want to check them out on Instagram, there it is there, and uh, and and it's called Kizzard Gizzard Brew Custard Custard Custard, um, and and it's got got spork on the top there. I don't know what that's all about, and and you know, it's obviously got the the spork there as well. There's there's a whole thing behind the branding, which I've not investigated as yet. And uh, because I, I just opened this, I've not actually tried the custard either. Uh, Giz, thank you very, very much for sending this on. Uh, I will try it and give a little update in my next vlog. If you see it on an Instagram post or anything like that, it's because I like it. If you don't, it's because I think it's not my kind of thing. Which is generally how it tends to work. Uh, many moons ago. Over three years ago, um, I did a review for the, the mech mod, was it the GR1? No, it wasn't the GR1, God, I've forgotten the name of it. From Kuro Concepts, John at Kuro Concepts. Um, ever since then, it has been my favorite mechanical mod. It's a 22 uh, mechanical tube mod. Uh, so that's the copper one. Now I have a stainless steel one as well um, and now John was the guy behind the Kuro concept coiling rods. If you remember them when they came out. Now you've all seen the coil master coiling rods. Well they stole the idea uh, basically from John. In fairness they took it a step further. It wasn't a 
direct clone as such, but yeah, they, they kind of stole the idea. Uh, but so John did this. Uh, he also did my test rig that I've got up there for uh, you know checking the output on mods and things like that. He built that for me. So John's a sound bloke and and he makes amazing mods. Uh, I I don't know if he still makes them. Anyway, the story behind it is that because there is now this 18350 resurgence, um, and, and basically, basically you have, where is it, here, so you have people going daft for pods, so this is the, the EQ from Aspire, so you have, uh, <laughs> I'm going to put this delicately, sensitively, Nah, feck it. Uh, right, so you've got lots of old farts like me that have got lots of old tube mods lying about, 18350 tube mods. So you have the advancement on the, you know, the, the cells, uh, the 18350 cells. So Torchy in the UK, I got some uh, new vape cell 18350s from him, and they're like 1100, 1200 milliamp hour, and uh, you know, you can take them you build down a little bit lower, you get a little bit longer life from them than we used to get from 18350s. So, you know, you've got things like this. This is my Caravella now with the uh, Genova on top. Uh, with these new cells, uh, these little 18350 mechs with their little 2 mil tanks on top. These work. They're like, in all fairness, these work better if not just as well as a lot of these things. Uh, so a lot of folk are going crazy again for 18350 mechs because for the, the la -di da elitist snobs in their ivory towers, um, we are all up there in the upper echelons, uh, you know, vaping on our, our posh gear rather than using pod systems. So there's a point to this, we're getting there. Simon McDermott, uh, who's the guy behind Jedi's Punk, uh, he contacted John because he's got one of these as well uh, and he said are you ever going to do any 18350 tubes or you know so we could use them in conjunction with their top cap and switch uh, so long story short a package arrived and myself and uh, Mr McDermott each got uh, an 18350 Kudo concept so we got a brass tube and an aluminium tube and so we've got our, our little 18350s and they are stunning. Once again, and this isn't bullshit, I mean you can go on my end of year um, summaries that I do every year and you will hear me state that every year since I reviewed the Kuro Concepts mech mod it is my favourite mech and having one and a little 18350 setup is just Brilliant! I'm absolutely over the moon, uh, and I I hope I hope John does a run of them. I hope he sees this. I've dropped him an email, and I'll, Simon will probably pester him because that's the kind of guy he is, um, and and get a run of them. Um, if you go searching for the Kuro Concepts Mech Mod review, you'll see John's email address in the description. Go and annoy him. I've no idea how much he would charge for them or anything and I don't know if he'll ever make them but I just wanted to say publicly thank you to John and to Simon as always you are a pain in my ass you wish <laughs> I'm only joking please I'll edit that out uh, so moving on I did buy something else whilst I was away on holiday let's find a battery let's get a battery in this and I'll show you right um, so I was on, on the beach, as you are, uh, and, and we're just watching the boats go by. And I checked my Facebook feed and I saw that um, Dominic, uh, who's a member of my Facebook group, uh, he had bought a mod and um, and he wasn't a huge fan of it. Or it, it, He opened it up and he didn't gel with it straight away. So he didn't know if he was going to keep it or didn't know what he was going to do. So because I'm a, a vulture, um, and I'm from Fife um, I dropped him a quick PM and said listen if you are going to sell it give me a shout and I'll buy it off you and I did and he did and and, and, it, and it arrived yesterday and there we go um, so this is and let me check the name the Halitus the Halitus 
Uh, now this is a, a custom MOSFET in here. It's I've got all the details. It's, it's some kind of polymer body uh, or plastic. I don't know the exact details of everything just now. It's got like a seven seven and a half mil bottle in it, and and, and the firing buttons up there. Now I was actually going to buy this from the manufacturer in the UK. Uh, it's a UK mob that are selling it uh, or have made it. And, and I fancied trying it. The main reason I wanted to try it was because, because I'm nosy and I wanted to see just how similar it was to the the Limelight Mechanic. Uh, Limelight Mechanic's Gloom, which I also own. So hang on, let's, I'll find a, a, an Atty. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, so it's got an, a, a spring-loaded 510. Pop that on there, we've got a Skyfall. And so there we go, boink, like that. So it comes in black and it comes in white. This is a plastic battery tube, this. And we've got a little bit of brass going on here. The bottle lock system is the exact same as the Gloom, which was, uh, but, oh, I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. There we go, he's back. Um, <laughs> well, I better take this off. That's not a fair comparison. I'm not, this is, I don't, it's not a clone, right, like, if it was a clone, I wouldn't have bought it. It's as simple as that, uh, I don't, just don't do clones. Uh, but it is, I, I do believe it is heavily inspired. Uh, you, you can, I mean, you can kind of see what's, you know, what's kind of, I mean, this is a MOSFET as well. Um, there is a lot of comparisons to be made there. But, and I'm going to say this, um, there's a lot of comparisons, but I could say the same about any 22mm mech mod, uh, or, or any mech mod. I could say the same about all these 3D printed squonkers. I could say the same about a lot of my la -di da mech mods up there. They have very similar shapes. Uh, uh, so I don't believe it's a clone. But it's, you can see the inspiration of where it's come from. Now, when I took this out of the box, I will say that this, this felt Mickey Mouse. It did. Uh, it felt Mickey Mouse. It's just very, very light. And I, I, I wasn't that impressed uh, because it, it just felt so cheap because it's so light. Now, this is only about £110 for this. Um, now, I've used it for most of last night and today and it's not shit I don't believe for one second this is shit it's actually got a five click on off so you've got that going on it performs well it squonks well it's comfortable to hold and, and it should be given its its inspiration so I'm going to review this, but I, I would say, and, and they do they do have their own website, and once again, it's halitus. Is it, let's see, I don't know if that's a, a venereal disease or, or what, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, so they do have their own website, just halitus.co.uk or .com, um, or you can also buy them from Squonk Radar, I think they're a wee bit more expensive there. I, I would say right now, um, these guys, I don't know anything about them, Limelight, they, they they came out with this, they designed it, the customer service, the they are in the they're in the brickwork of vaping. Um they, they really are. They're just an amazing company and, and this is just something I would never let go because it's beautiful, beautiful design and a great mod. And it's the price it is, it's a lot more expensive than this. I mean two or three times the price to be brutally honest. Uh, I would still buy this if I was given the choice I would still buy it um, if you do not have the budget for this then this there's my initial impression is that this is not shit it's not and, and so far it's been working okay uh, but that is based on 24 hours so take it with a pinch of salt don't read too much into it but my initial impressions are not bad at all Righty ho. Um, well, so I've got the the Bugatti. 
uh, up there from Stuttgart Art uh, that I will be reviewing very very soon. That's next up in the cards I think. I've also got the Legacy uh, from the wonderful people at Hassar. I'm waiting on a couple of bits and bobs that should be here this week. Next week. Uh, so I will be reviewing that very very soon as well. Finally. Finally. Um, and and, and that, that is really it. Is that all I've got? Oh! I've got other stuff. I've no idea why. Anakin sent on that they've got new um, do that, do, do protons. There's new protons. I did a review for the proton mod, which uh, I liked. Uh, I did like it. I thought it was good. Uh, but so they've got, I think it's new colours. They're using the Plexus coils as well. I think there's a Plexus tank available separately. I might have reviewed it already, I don't know, I can't remember. I, there was no letter with it, there was nothing with it. I've just opened it uh, yesterday and I've not done any investigation, so I don't know what's going on there. I'll find out, I'll include it in a vlog. It's the, there's not going to be another video for the Proton, no. That will not happen. Something else arrived that I had no idea about and I'll, I'll see if I can, I can get this out just now. Uh, so this was the, the Etna, uh, was it the ETNA? Etna, yes. So it's this thing. It's a little 16mm RDA. Um, now, I've not put a coil in it or anything like that, but um, it's got this going on in the back. Hopefully that shows up. Um, <laughs> is this air? Hang on. Yes, that's air. Now, um, let's get my Dingo Vapes. My little Atty stand from Dingo Vapes. Uh, so I'll pop that on there and we'll, I'll give you a quick... I've not investigated it or done much about this as yet, but hopefully that focuses there. There we go. Uh, so that's the... I'm not sure if the block gets changed out to change the airflow. Uh, I'm not sure if you screw something else or in there. Uh, I really don't know right now. Um, I don't know anything about it. It's one of these things that's just arrived, I've just opened, and I'll investigate in due course, and I shall let you know how I get on. Um, and, and, and that's pretty much it. What I will do here is, I got an Atty from a Chinese company a wee bit back, and uh, I did record a quick video for it. So I'm gonna lump it in here just now and let you see it, and, uh, and then I'll be back in a minute. So, here you go. This is a quick, lazy look at something. Uh, basically, there's a company, and what are they called? Uh, they are called... <laughs> I'm going to include this in a vlog or something. I've not decided where I'm going to put this little video. I, I never do unboxings as such, but uh, I got uh, an RDA. I got two RDAs. I think one's called the Phoebe and one's called the Taste. And uh, they came from this company here, yoink, right about here, and uh, I need a shave. Anyway, um, we're going to open this together and we'll have a look at it. What they're saying here is that this is, from them, is going to be about $30. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I saw the CAD or the, 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 the photos for this and it kind of, the reason, the reason I said yes was because the chamber kind of interested me. Interested me? In I liked it. Anyway, close-ups. Now, I'll probably repeat myself a million times here, but this is not a review. This is just me opening something up and seeing what I think, and you're just along for the ride. But, uh, so here we go, Taste RDA. And on the back, we have a lot of spec going on there, uh, or sorry, contents in the box. Right, inside we have a, ooh, ooh. This is different. A little hard case. Um, is that a sticker? Well, that's that's well, that's quite well done. That actually. Uh, right. Let's. I wasn't expecting this for uh, for the money, but uh, anyway. Here. What? Bloody hell. That's pretty smart. Uh, what's in here? Oh, look at this. We've got coils. We've got spares. We've got. This is damn. This, we've got a squonky pin. Is that a squonky pin? Yep, that's a squonking pin in there. Uh, coils, that looks like a... Is that a 510 drip tip adapter? Yes, it is. So, lot, lots of goodies in there. Um, so, this is actually quite impressive. We've got... Uh, this looks like a, a cloudy cap. 
uh, huge airflow going on at the side there non-adjustable by the looks of it uh, what's this now this is the bit that interested me uh, this is I think if this is if you want to do a single coil it reduces the deck but we'll come back to that in a second but here we go one RDA so we'll move this out of the way just now and, and we'll have a look at this now I, I do have lots of other colors here I know it comes in lots of other colors and I've got a suspicion that this is going to be a 24 mil RDA and yes it is 24 on the button uh, height not including the drip tip is 24 mil once again uh, we have a is this an 810 drip tip up here tell you what let's grab another 810 drip tip here we go here's an 810 drip tip and boom fits in there no problem so we have an 810 drip tip this feels like a polycarb or something like a PMME kind of drip tip it's kind of tight in there just now but it is brand new so we'll cut that some slack so we've got big air holes on the side and I'll just take a size in that so you're looking about 8 mil by oh about two and a half mil so there and there and I, I don't know about the branding I don't know about that but um, yeah we've got a protruding 510 going on there so let's have a little look inside um, it's not offensive looking in the slightest top cap comes off no problem actually those o-rings are I don't know what they'll be like once this gets hot and get some liquid on it but we actually have <laughs> Oh, we've got uh, almost like a postless deck going on here. So, we're going to have our, I don't know, is that flathead screws that's in there? I can't quite see. Flathead screws in there. I've got kind of like a postless system going on. You've seen this before. Um, I don't know where you go. If you dual coil this, you're not going to have many places to put the cotton. But, right, this is what I was interested in. So, um, we have two caps, inner caps. So this is going to fit on here, doink, so that you can actually you'd reduce it. You can take the airflow down for a single coil and then just pop your cap on. Again, we've got a single coil RDA. I do, I kind of like this. I like that option. And of course we can go for a dual coil as well. So we can just pop that on and then we can pop that on. The only thing is that this is like, a, is this a 22? Now that's only that's only 20 mil in diameter this that's only 20 mils in diameter and do you know if i was to put two coils in there where the hell am i going to put the cotton because that's you know look at the inside you know just at the, the edges here here and here you're not going to get a lot of cotton in there at all now this airflow here is angled down just a tiny little bit not much but it is angled down so uh, right we'll we'll fire a coil in here and see how we get on so sticking the coil in now that's obviously going to be just a little bit too high there so what we'll do is i'll grab my schnips i have some schnips from here and i'm just going to cut uh yeah we'll live in the edge and we'll cut this much off doink there we go and without actually you know uh, i'm not going to tighten this down as yet i'm just going to sit the the coil like that and then we'll take this and pop it down and you know just looking at that there and seeing where the air floats see I can just see the base of the coil and that looks a bit bang on for me that, that looks perfect so I'll tighten this down fluff this out that's already fluffed out and then just stick it down into that little well there and it is it's quite a small well I mean I think I really would struggle with two coils in this but uh, I'm more a single coil kind of guy anyway, so uh, we'll just go with this. I'm not going to bother with a squonk pin. I mean, it does come with a squonk pin. Uh, I would imagine it would be a very good squonker given the, you know, the height of the air holes on the side. But uh, we'll just pop this on here just now. There we go. That's sitting in there nicely. I've just started this off at uh, 30 watts just now. And yeah, that's firing away quite the thing. That does spin freely. What I do like, I'm, I'm confused. I can't see the tab. There must be a tab. 
Well, I thought there would be a tab that would hold this inner chamber in place so that, you know, when I turn the outer one, it's not all going to spin. But, it, yeah, it all seems to be holding in place quite the thing. Right, let's have a, let's have a vape on this. Now, I'm just looking inside this again, and, and it's got a, a nice domed chamber in there. So, I mean, the coil is sitting, I mean, if you look at that, the coil's sitting quite high up. This would be a very good squonker. I would I would like to use this as a squonker actually. Uh, I'm still, yeah. This this inner chamber here, this inner section, it just doesn't spin. I, I was worried that it was going to spin freely, uh, but no, that, that's plain ball. And putting the top cap on, well, actually, we'll change this. We're going to go up to uh, uh, 40 watts. Uh, we're on a what was that? A 0 0.35, 3.6 coil. And full. There we go. Right, fully open. That's got a. It's quite wide open, but it does have a little hint of a restriction. Just a little hint of a restriction. I'm going to close it down halfway. And the airflow goes all to shit. <laughs> That's, that's just gone wrong. That's just gone wrong. Fully open. It's perfect. Half. <laughs> okay. You're not going to be closing the airflow down in this one, I don't think. But that's, if it's not fully open or almost closed off, then you're going to get that going on. That's horrendous. Um. But fully open. That's not shit. Uh, this is an unboxing and a first vape. This is not a review at all. Um, if you were to say to me right now, here you've got thirty dollars. Um, would you buy this for thirty dollars? Um, I would give this a punt. I, I, I really would. I think the presentation is fantastic. I love the fact that you can have the dual or the single option here. Now, once again, I do think the dual one is going to be tight from a wicking point of view uh, because the wells aren't that big. It's a 20 millimeter inner diameter deck, basically. So it might be a struggle with that, but um, you know, the 510 drip tip adapter, the coils, all the spares. I'm really surprised. I really am surprised by this one. Well, obviously you know how I feel because I've just told you. Uh, I like this. I'm actually quite surprised. Anyway, back to whatever we were doing before I started buggering about here. Now, they, get, they did get back in touch with me again and said that they were aware of the noise, the turbulence that I, I mentioned. Uh, and they said they were releasing or updating it. It's kind of, there's a lost in translation thing going on there. But uh, they've got the, the fee, is it the Phoebe? They sent me another one on as well, which I will, I'll have a look at that at the same time. I'll have a look at that in the future. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick look at that and, and see what you thought. Uh, but they are saying they're going to release an updated version to address some of the feedback that I gave to them. But um, that is it. I think that's all I've got for you. I'm just having a quick look around. Um, Yes, it is. That's that'll do you. That's all you're getting. I think this will go live on Sunday. Uh, this will go live on Sunday. So uh, reviews shall be coming. Normal service shall be resumed. Please remember, you know, that you can uh, charity raffle. Uh, boink for this um, very expensive setup very high quality setup I'll say this here uh, just to clarify uh, because I think I said it in the, the video but I'll just clarify it again um, this for me this little squonker here is tremendous built like a brick shit house and it's if I was to do uh, a, a, a summary for the year so far uh, this would be my favorite squonker fet squonker so far this year uh, it would it would win hands down why am i letting it go in a charity uh, uh, auction raffle uh, because it's current it's popular uh, it can be hard to get a hold of so i raise more money for charity that way 
I have lots of mods all up there. I have lots of mods. I don't need any more mods, basically. Uh, and even though I like it as much as I do, I will let that go first because I can get more money for it. It's as simple as that. That's why it's going. No other reason whatsoever. I think people will try to read between lines when there are no lines there. It's just, this is the best thing for the charity. Uh, the armour, uh, which was a gift to me, uh, I'm letting that go because for me personally, I always wanted to try one and, and, and for me it just didn't work very well. Uh, it, 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 it's, it, there's a lot of hype around it and whilst I got a good vape from it, I didn't get the, it didn't live up to my expectations and, and a lot of hype that I've heard about it. I don't hype. Yeah, hype, yeah, but it just, it was okay, it was good, uh, but just not as what I thought it was going to be. Also, the, the airflow design and the, the way the top cap works is convoluted and just a pain in the ass. Uh, so that's why, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but I know you can get simple top caps for it. Uh, and I think if I was going to keep this RDA, I would go and look for one of the simpler top caps, but the one that comes with it is, nah. Uh, you can dual coil it, you can single coil it, and it does have a, a huge fan base for it. I mean, the Armour products, if you go and search online, you'll find there's people go nuts for it. That's just my take on it. It's just my opinion on it. it you know, it doesn't mean that I'm right. Um, it's just how I got on with it. So, so that's what the story is behind those products. But now I'm going. Uh, have an excellent weekend if you're still in the weekend and uh, I shall speak to you very, very soon. Thank you as always for watching and um, we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.